Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkers here. I wanted to show off a new toy, uh, with toy being a relative term. Yeah, it's a toy. Um, <laughs> I built myself a, the name of it is a mostly printed CNC. As you can see, it's a CNC router. I'm CNC melt, CNC router. Why? Because that's a router and I can't do anything more than aluminum. This is uh, mostly printed. All the corners, the you know, everything but the pipe, the motors, electronics, and the spindle, and the um, bearings, of course, is printed. It's all printed. And actually, for being printed, this thing has surprisingly little slop. Uh, the designer did a really fantastic job with that. But, as you can see, NEMA 17, NEMA 17, T2, ramps. Yeah, it's a 3D printer that instead of a hot end, it has a spindle. And then currently that's how I'm using it. Um, but I wanted to show you, everyone, just how simple a 3D printer can be. Since this is technically a, print, a 3D printer, the only thing it is missing is one more uh, stepper for the extruder the, and the hot end. Uh, right here. Or right here. Other than that, it, it is a 3D printer. I just noticed whatever that is. I don't know. Oh, it's a piece of wood. So this is a ramp board. In this case, I have no end stops. I have no hot end, no print bed, no second hot end, no nothing. I literally have three sets of steppers. One for Z and a set of both uh, X and Y. As I say set, these, this printer has... If I can get my zoom to go right. See, stepper being driven on this end. Same axi stepper on that end. Same here. And these are ran in parallel. So that all I have to really do is up the amperage on the driver. And they run just fine. And so far I haven't tried anything where the motors will actually give up before the slop in the spindle comes into issue. And I start uh, chattering. And yes, I have chattered quite a lot. Burning out bits is not fun. Anyways, um, just want to show you how simple ramps can be. Only thing I set in a brand new fresh Marlin was number of steps, number of steps, number of steps. I, I might have tweaked some acceleration numbers, but for the most part I'm moving so slow it doesn't matter. And my acceleration doesn't matter. Um, that's all set in G-code. Anyways, I'm, I'm using Fusion 360's built-in cam software to control this, to, to generate the G-code via Marlin and using uh, Simplify 3D to push via USB to this board. And I can control it quite simply. It is already on, I hope. It is already plugged in. All I really have to do to get this to work is make sure that it's being found in here and use my jog controls. And as you can tell, as it about, oh, it stopped just in time. Um, I don't have any end stops on this thing. As I said earlier, no end stops means this thing will run and just bounce, 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 bounce. Which is fantastic. Don't need them for this because this is CNC. I have to manually set a zero anyways, so why bother with end stops? Make sure you're not cutting too large. Especially since true CNC machinists will say, no. 3D printer has true end stops because they don't break a circuit to kill power to whatever is being moved. They are, I can't remember what it's been decided it is. Not end stop, it is a 
movement limit switch. Whatever. Anyways, I want to show off a new toy um, that I have that I'm going to be working on um, and ask what do you guys, I want to do some more tutorials. It's winter, I'm out outside, I'm not working on anything really. I'm getting a little bit bored. I can continue doing stuff by myself and not recording it, but if you guys like me to get back into the 3D printer parts or how to get cam to work through Marlin or my research into proper CNC parts so I can get rid of this and run a proper CNC machine where I can change the feeds and speeds on the fly quite easily. Um, let me know what you want me to put out. I'm more than happy to take suggestions. Until then, I'm going to be playing with this. Thanks everyone so much for watching. See you next time. Keep tinkering.